What's up athletes, welcome back. Variety is extremely important for our training. It helps us remove boredom and more importantly, it helps us reduce injuries and then challenge the muscles in a completely different way. Today, we're going to be using elastic tubing for our six minute workout. Now, this is a wild card workout, so all you're going to need to follow along today is just your mat and then an elastic tubing. This is going to be a full body workout and I want you to grab whatever tubing that you already have at home. You might have one of these therapeutic bands which are gonna work just fine or you might have some of these elastic tubes. Now, we're gonna work for 45 seconds. We are gonna rest for 15 seconds through six different exercises challenging both the upper body and the lower body. I'm gonna show you your first movement then going forward only to let you know what's coming up in this little box up here above. All right, athletes, our first movement is a sumo deadlift high pull. So we're gonna grab our elastic tube. We're gonna go really, really wide in the sumo position. You notice that I'm using bare feet here, but feel free to put on shoes if you're finding that this is uncomfortable for the feet. So really, really wide into our sumo position. We're gonna lean forward into a deadlift position. We're gonna stand up and then we're gonna pull the arms up and really making sure that the elbows are leading the movement. So again, bending forward and then standing up. So in the side view, it's gonna look something like this. So hinging at the hips, stand, squeeze the glutes, and then continue to drive the, the, I keep wanting to say weights because it's so natural for me to say weights, but elbows up. So leaning forward, standing up, and then elbows up, all right? What's really important is that we don't wanna do this at the same time. We really wanna make sure that we stand, squeezing the glutes, and then bringing the elbows up. All right, athletes, are you ready? In three, two, one, and go. So again, leaning forward and really pushing the knees out and then taking that opportunity to really engage with the muscles. So this is not about speed. If you're going a little bit faster than me, then I'd like for you to slow down because if you're going fast, you're really using momentum and I'm pressing against the floor to stand as opposed to trying to swing the back. So squeeze the glutes, stand all the way up, elbows up and really focusing on using that posterior chain. You're gonna notice that my toes are up slightly and this is really just to reinforce that posterior chain. Continue to keep that chest straight here and then breathe as you inhale, lean forward and then exhale on the effort and then elbows are up. Three, two, one and break. All right, now we're gonna stay in this position and we're gonna go for some monster squats. So start at the side of your mat. Keep the tension with the band. You're gonna walk to the right and then walk the other direction. So this is going to work the abductors of the muscle, of the lower legs rather, and really helping us stabilize some of the muscles that we require for stability around the low back, and then also for walking. So oftentimes when we're really focused on compound movements, squatting and deadlifting, we are oftentimes forgetting about the small muscles of the hips and the glutes that are responsible for stability and that's the external rotators as well as the abductors. So this is a great opportunity for us to work those muscles. I feel a burn like crazy. How's it going for you? I know. So keep that chest straight. Make sure you're not leaning forward and keep it going. All right, good work and break. All right, now we're gonna get on the floor here and we're going to do an upright row. So upright, the chest stays up and then we're gonna go nice and wide with the feet. And then I like to cross it over to create tension. And then I bring the elbows back. And now what's really important here is that you keep control at all times. So don't just let go of the arms, really pull the elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades in the back. And then more importantly, leave that tension in the muscle as you straighten out the arms. That's it, exhale. Amazing, that's it. Continue to breathe here. Keep that back straight. You should not feel this in the low back. Continue to push the feet outwards and you're gonna feel that you're probably working the legs as well. And don't do this. If you're doing this, that's external rotation. And we're trying to really just create that extension around the shoulders, bringing the shoulder blades together. Three, two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna come back to a standing position now. And now we're gonna step onto one side of our band. We're gonna go into a skater squat. So go nice and wide here with me. You're gonna go into a skater squat and then a rotation. So skater squat and then 
rotation. And what I love about band work is you can adjust the resistance at any time. So if you found that that was easy for you, just pull the resistance. And you're gonna notice here that you're working both sides, so both obliques, and really wanting to connect with that muscle. So just continue to breathe and really think about keeping that control. Sometimes as we slow it down, there's a lot more resistance and intensity. So don't worry about speed right now. Just connect with that muscle. You're gonna feel your arms working for sure, but also just a great opportunity to connect to the core, skater squat, feel a little bit of that glute work, but also the obliques as well. And break. All right, let's go ahead and switch now to the other side. Same thing on the other side. And then good chance also to just notice the tension, making sure that it's the same on both sides. So let's go for skater squat and then rotate up here. So skater squat, rotate. And I'm just gonna increase the tension a little bit just to make sure that I'm getting the same work on both sides. So again, with band work, it's so easy to change the tension at any time. And the other thing about using elastic tubing or bands is that as we increase the range of motion, so as I continue to rotate here, the intensity or the resistance increases. So not something that we experience with weights. With weights, it's almost as if throughout the full range of motion, the weight stays the same. You are the strongest halfway through the flexion or the shortening of the muscle. But with band work, as you increase the range of motion, you also increase the tension. All right, athletes, now for the last one, we're gonna do a curl and press. So place the tube under just one foot or both depending on the length of the tube. And now you're gonna curl, bring the arms out and then press all the way up then bring it back and then all the way down. So keep the control as mentioned, really important that you focus on the control, especially as you bring the arms back to starting position. So inhale all the way up. And you'll see as you continue down these 45 seconds, it only gets more challenging, but you got this. Continue to breathe through it and stay focused here with me. That's it, all the way up and then come all the way back down. So athletes, if you have this in you as we finish up, go ahead, press repeat, come back to the beginning, do this one more time. Or remember, check out the video that I have linked for you at the end of this one to complete today's training and break. So remember athletes, it's all about consistency. Continue to show up for you, continue to do the work. And let me know how this went for you by commenting below. It really helps me to create the content that you want to see. And if you've liked this video, then give me a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend who you think it may serve. All right, athletes, now let's go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this.